here with Matt at uh, Smith & Wesson booth, and he's going to tell us a little bit about their new shield they just introduced today. Go ahead, Matt. Yeah, Jeff, this is the new m and shield. Basically, Smith wanted to come out with a polymer frame pistol with a single stack design. It'd be good for concealed carry, uh, law enforcement, plainclothes officers, a backup gun. Uh, capitalizing off the m brand and the strong presence that has in the industry. So here we are with the m shield. This is the 40 version I'm holding. It's also available in 9. Again, a single stack design. Uh, a lot of the features on it are going to be familiar to people that have used the MMP before. On the right side of the gun are your fire controls. It does not have that ambidextrous capability that the MMP does. So you've got your take, simple takedown lever, no reason to pull the trigger, very easy to disassemble, slide stop, and then a manual safety. Uh, they wanted to keep that very nice and flush for the people who aren't carrying it in a holster. Maybe they're carrying it in a purse. They want to engage that safety. With the nine, you have a, you both guns come with a flat magazine and a finger extension magazine. The 40 holds uh, 7 plus 1 with the finger extension and 6 plus 1 without. The 9, it's 8 plus 1 or 7 plus 1. One of the big things that people have been commenting on is the actual trigger on this gun. It still is tracker fired action, but it breaks at about 6.5 pounds. And the big thing is, is the reset. You probably can't hear it because of all the people in the booth, but with the reset on this gun, you can hear it and you can feel it. So that was something a lot of people had critiqued and wanted that in the MMP, but now they can get it in the shield. So you put all those things together, you get a very nice concealed carry gun. One of the other things that Smith did, like with the holster I'm wearing from DeSantes, is they contacted a lot of the major manufacturers and they've got products available. In this showcase behind me, you've got aftermarket sights, aftermarket lasers, aftermarket holsters. So we've really got the ground covered and they're shipping now. So people can go right out to the store, pick up this gun and start using Okay, thanks, Matt. Thank you. We're in the FNH USA booth, and been here with Tommy Thacker. He's going to tell us a little bit about his FNS pistol. What we got here is the FNS 9. Some of the features that are very important to us are able to eliminate a lot of features that the uh, the hammer control, fire control, so we'll be able to bring the back strap up much further so you get a higher grip than you could ever get before on the pistols. This does several things. It keeps the muzzle flat, keeps it back on target much faster. A lot of the other features there are completely ambidextrous. We've got a magazine catch, magazine release is on both sides. We have a slide stop that you can use right-handed or left-handed. And we've got a safety, something you don't find on many striker fired guns. So the safety is very small, it's out of the way, it can be used right or left-handed, and it's, uh, it's small enough to be out of the way if you don't want to use it, but it's there if you do want to use it. Some of the other features that we've got, we come standard with a three-dot night sight, two interchangeable back straps. Hi, I'm Doug Butcher, uh, General Manager from International Supplies in Los Angeles, and I've got the Bright Strike Epley, that's an executive protective light instrument. It's 160 lumens on two AAA batteries, and it's perfect for travel or everyday use. Uh, it's got high, low, and strobe, and it's perfect for self-protection as well. I travel with it all the time. I'll take it to New York. I can wear it in my pocket when I'm in the city or whatever. If anybody were to attack me, I can turn the light on and hit and then get away from the assailant. So it's perfect, but it's also for any other kind of uh, use for a flashlight, it's ideal. We have the full line of tactical flashlights that are, uh, Bright Strike developed for the police and the military. Unconditional lifetime guarantee, waterproof, shockproof. They've been thoroughly tested. They're all made in America. Uh, we're here in uh, Dylan's booth at the NRA show, and I'm uh, standing here with Kathy Rankin, and uh, we've uh, reviewed her calendar before. She's been doing this for years. She does this calendar, and uh, uh, the proceeds go to benefit the New England Warriors, and she's going to tell you a little bit about her calendar, what she did different this time, and how to get one of her calendars. Go ahead, Kathy. All right. Well, thank you. And uh, my calendar actually supports the U.S. troops and the U.S. military, and I've been doing it about three, four years now, and it started because my pictures started circulating overseas and I started corresponding with a lot of servicemen and women and their families and I wanted to do something more to help them so I used my own money, produced the first calendar and it sold out. So this is my third and final calendar. All the money goes to 
the Marine Corps Scholarship Foundation, which is teamed up with my charity, New England Warrior. And you can find them at newenglandwarrior.org. And it's in honor of um, 11 Marines who died over in Afghanistan, and but it supports all service members and their kids and their families with scholarship money um, for education purposes. And uh, this year's theme is really fun. I wanted to do something pretty sexy. So we recreated all the 1960s, 70s, and 80s posters. And this is the famous Farrah Fawcett shot. So it's really popular. And um, like I said, it's just a way to honor our guys and our gals overseas and keep the message out there that we're all Americans and they're fighting for what they believe and we support them. So I hope you uh, buy a calendar.